In this little video, we're going to look for not sort of the closest facility as we had in the in the former case, but rather for the new route. The new route is an is an opportunity to to make a journey the shortest as possible between a preset points of interest there you want the individual or I don't know car or anything to travel in this case we will play around with a few different kinds of alternatives and options but in order to do so I assume that you got the same kind of material and the networks and everything as we had in the previous kinds of, of uh, tests considering this is video number three in the network series so I would go for the new route kind of thingy and doing that means that I get this array of different colored uh, variations. We've got the stops, we've got the point barriers, we've got the routes, we've got a variety of different set things that could constrict or facilitate the travels and the journeys of the ones that, that are going to travel in the system that we design. And in the network analysis, analyst windows we got the stops and the routes and point barriers and line barriers and so forth that you could enter in the model this would be just the display versions what the end result would be and this is of course where you enter them I'm going to think in a few different kinds of ways here the simplest of them all is in fact to just use this create network location tool it is a flag and if you click on that one and just simply randomly point and click in the locations you can design things in the windows for the analyst. In this case, we cre uh, created restrictions. So those are no-go areas where the, uh, the journey must stop. And you can do it also, of course, with lines and so many different kinds of things. In this case, I'm not really interested in the, in the barriers. I want to go for the stops. So I'm selecting the stops and I'm doing one, two, three, four, and five. And when I've done so, I click the solve and it's just that easy. It finds the shortest route between the first, second, third, fourth and fifth point that we entered. This is then being landed as the route here, which in turn could be saved and exported and used as any other uh, shapefile. We can do it a little bit more complicated. We can delete these ones. Let me see, so we can delete all. There we go. And we can also delete the route because we want a new set altogether. And in this case, we could enter the kids. And the kids are here. They're already in the data sets. So I drag and drop the kids to the stops. So let's like make up a story saying that we need to leave a message to the students in the evening before tomorrow's event at school or anything. And these three schools might have a joint adventure or anything. So it's it's important for them all to to get the same message and to minimize the time spent on travels we travel from number one up to number 18 in the shortest order we've just entered them and the same way we press solve and by solving it and a little time of computation we get the the line however we might come up with a few sort of interesting restrictions and stuff to it if i zoom in on here on this region I've already or predetermined a barrier and a barrier in this case before we do that by the way let me take away the routes here um, let me see we take away all the stops let's take away all the routes so we we start from a clean sleet with everything I have selected a part of the road and I've saved it into a new shape file that I called barrier and this barrier, which is not visible because it's too small, I'm going to make it bigger, is located there. It is, in fact, in the same line where we had the former trajectory. If we go for the, for the, uh, for the, the original route, it passed here, and we can show it again when we do it. But by doing the barrier here and lifting it, dragging it, and dropping it onto the line barriers, we force the model to take another route. So again, let's go for the kids, drop on the stops, press OK, zoom out a little bit so we can see the entire data set, and then click Solve, and we find that the route, and let's zoom in again, is avoiding the route, at, uh, the, the barrier at, at hand in question. Let's now 
assume that we can take away the line barrier so I delete that one so we've got no line barriers and we can in fact keep the route so we can see what happens when we do a new version of it and I click the solve and this time we've got no barrier and as you can see it chooses a new a new segment. The only reason we've got a red line symbolizing the barrier is that it's in the ordinary table of contents but please note I did not drag and drop it onto the network analyst windows so it's visible but it's not part of the model. So these ways by entering lines and points that act as barriers we could test and design various kinds of speeds and trajectories and compare them to each other um, over time or whatever, what may your interest.